I am super excited today. I got my first Filtrol 160. I'm really excited about this product because I recently put in a new septic system. I wanted to be able to collect any of the fibers and um, any clothing lint that would bypass through my washing machine out to my drain field. And also the bonus is that this actually keeps microfibers out of our waterways uh, for those of you that don't have a septic system. So um, it is a really great um, device and I'm gonna set it up in my home and show you some of the things that I need to do. It's got this nice little bracket here that comes off of the canister and that's what I'm gonna mount first. So here's my setup and as you can see between my washer and dryer wall and then the cupboard there's not a lot of space there and so I wasn't quite sure that it was gonna fit but like I said it was worth the effort. So it fits behind my dryer on the wall mount which is good you can see that it fits but the problem is is my discharge hose for my washing machine is up so high that the hose isn't going to be able to go down and up in to that PVC piping so I'm going to pull my washing machine out from the wall and I'm going to take this uh, trusty little hacksaw here and I'm just gonna go to town on that PVC pipe and bring it down a little bit behind the washing machine and then um, hopefully I'll be able to install this baby. So I had to mount the filtrol a little bit lower than I had anticipated because um, as you can see in my first attempt I wasn't able to pull the canister out because of the small space that I have available but I lowered it down um, and that worked great so I got that mounted. I was able to get the hose connected into the filtrol and into my area where the discharge goes from my washing machine. Clearly I need to do some painting. Um, but I was able to saw that off successfully and then um, stick the hose in there and cut that off um, to the right length so it fit. And then I connected the top of the filtrol, as you can see here, to the washing machine discharge hose. So I have to push my washing machine back now my filtral is all set. I have my washer and dryer pushed back. My dryer is a little bit more forward than the washing machine, but that's not a big deal. Uh, probably just want to watch for the vibrations in it pushing back on my filtral so it doesn't break the canister. But I'm very excited because I did not think this was going to fit with my setup. But as you can see, it does. And it's actually kind of packed in there. It's hidden and it looks really nice. We're gonna fire up the filter in a minute and see how it works. And here she goes. She's running awesome. Doing exactly what she's supposed to do. She's not leaking and we're catching fibers. So I'm excited to show you after this first load of laundry, the fibers that I caught. So this is one load of laundry. These are just my clothes. Nothing was brand new. Uh, everything that was in that load had been laundered more, well, multiple times. Uh, to see that this much, I mean, this is about the size of a quarter, came out of one load, and it wasn't even a full load of laundry, um, that this filtral cot is really impressive to me. I think of all the loads of laundry that I do for myself and for my farmer husband, um, and all the lint that has bypassed the system and gone out to our septic tank in Drainfield is, is really kind of alarming and um, if you didn't have a septic system and you were on city sewer and water, this is going right out into those plants and out into the ocean. So it's no wonder that microfibers are such a huge concern um, when this is one load of laundry and the fish are mistaking particles as food and eating them and then in turn we're eating it. So it's just crazy and it's definitely a problem. That we need to get a handle on. So I definitely give an A plus to the Filtrol and I'm super excited about using the product.